In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Nest Cam video clips and save them to the hard drive. So first you want to navigate to your Nest Cam and then click on the image in order to maximize it so you can see all the controls. There is a date and timestamp up on the top and all along the bottom is a timeline. The gray bars along the timeline indicate that activity has been detected. There's a calendar over here on the left showing that it's today's date and you can actually control the timeline, which I'll show later. So click on the calendar and we're going to navigate to the date in which we want to download the clips. So we're going to use, um, it's this, the 15th. We're going to download some clips. So you can see that the camera is working and it's now gone back to September 15th, which you can verify up here at the top. We're going to start the clips at six o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to make the timeline more condensed and click over here at six o'clock in the morning. You can clip on the clips, create a clip over here on the right. And you can see the length of the clip defaults to five minutes. We want an hour. So I'm going to extend this blue bar out to one hour. Not sure why it doesn't go to one hour, but I want it to start at six o'clock. So this little hand icon allows you to move the one hour clip along the timeline. And as you increase the resolution of the time, you can refine where the clip will begin. So now it's going more by seconds and I can get all the way to six o'clock AM. So I'm pretty happy with that. And you can see again that it's going from six o'clock to what should be seven o'clock AM. And it's giving me one hour. So I'm going to go ahead then and save and save this as a, uh, clip title, so I'm going to use the year, the month, the day, and then the time, and we're going to use military time. So it's going to go from 0600 to 0700. And then I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to go over here and save. And you can see that you can click done even while the clip is still processing. So just to double check and view that clip, you can go over here to the right, view clips, and it'll take you to a new window that you can see the clip itself is processing. Now you're only allowed three hours of clips to save and you can see I've now reached my limit. So I'm going to go ahead and delete a couple of older clips that I had saved in order to allow for two more clips to be created so that I can then download them. So you can see it's now one hour out of the three hour limit. So when I go back to the video camera, it defaults back to today. So I do need to navigate again back to September 15th. And I'm going to make the timeline a little more condensed, navigate over to seven o'clock. And here's a fast way you can do a clip. Just clip on, just click on this little icon here. And again, it's defaulting to a short clip, so I'm gonna just increase it. Now I have my one hour. And I want it to begin at seven o'clock in the morning. And again, you can refine the timeline so that you can get to a, the exact time, including the seconds. So here we have seven o'clock AM. And I'm going to leave, intentionally leave this clip unnamed so I can show you what to do when you download an unnamed clip. So I'm gonna save this. Click on done. I'm not going to go back to the view clips because um, it just will keep it on September 15th. So now I'm going to create a clip for 0800, extend it so it's one hour, and then I want to refine the timeline so I can move this bar over to 0800. And I need to refine the timeline just a little more to get those seconds down to zero. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead then and name my one hour clip again with the year, the month, the day, and then the time using military time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Okay. So I'm going to make a third clip and I'm not going to navigate back because I want it just to stay on the 15th. So I'm going to again reduce the timeline and find 0900, which will be my next one. Click on, click on the clip maker 
and extend it out to one hour as I did before. And again, move the bar so that it sits on 0900. I'm going to increase the timeline so I can refine the movement of the bar. There we go. And I'm going to name the clip again, going from 0900 to 10 o'clock and save. So now I have my three clips all done. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and view all my clips. There they all are, my 0800 to 0900, my original clip, and then the untitled one. So now we're going to download the clips to the hard drive. So if you click on one of the clips, you can see there's icons along the bottom here. So we're going to select the download icon and navigate to, for us, our LaPlante research folder, the Amphiprion folder. Within there, there's a videos folder. And within the videos folder, there's already folders created. So you want to create a new folder with the date of the clips, not the times, just the date. So 200915. And create that folder. And you can see that the clip is already named, so we don't need to name the clip. And click on save. And you'll see the download down here on the right tells you how long it is. You can always check the download on Google by navigating to these three dots on the very right and going down to downloads and it'll show you everything that's downloaded. So this clip right here has been downloaded. And if I go back and click on done, so I'm going to just double check and there's my 0915 folder and there's that new clip showing it was downloaded today and the size. And it is um, syncing right now with the cloud. That's what that little pie means. So I'm gonna now download the clip that I hadn't initially titled. So if I click on that, I'm gonna go through the same process of downloading it, clicking on the download button. But this time I haven't named it, so I do wanna keep the same format. And you can look back here that it does tell you the date and the beginning time. So I'm going to then change this title so that it matches the format, 200915. And again, it starts at 0700. And you can see up on the top right of this clip that it's actually going for one hour, so one hour right there. And so I'm gonna to go to 0800 and click Save. And it's downloading, and again, you can check the status of the download, and there it is. Okay, so now we're gonna navigate back. Done with that, and we're gonna download that third and last clip through the same process. This one, of course, is already named. So I'll just click on the download button. Sometimes it takes a little while. You can see on the top, top right on my tab that the circle is going around, so it is thinking about opening up the window. There we go. And it's already named, so I can just go ahead and click on Save. And it does show the status of the others as well. <clears throat> okay, so I can go over here at the downloads and you can see two clips are downloading currently. Because I only have three hours of clips that I can download, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to go ahead and delete the clips that have already been downloaded. So you can see still the other two are being downloaded. So occasionally you can have issues with downloading. So I'm just going to pause this right now and show you what it looks like on the download bar. You can see that it's been paused. So if this happens, click on the up arrow and you can navigate down this to resume and click on resume. And you can see that it'll start to load again. You might also see this failed network error if your inner um, internet is spotty. So just click on resume again. And you can see here that it is resuming. Periodically, you can, if you go to the downloads, there'll be a resume button if it has failed to load. Okay, so I'm just gonna detect the status. So you can see that one of them is still downloading. It says download at the end of the title. So be aware of that. You don't wanna delete a clip where it says download. Okay, so once all of the clips have been downloaded, you can navigate back to the video clips history. So they've all been downloaded here, you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and close the window 
and I'm going to delete my clips so that I can then download three new clips. So I've now cleared out my history. I now have three hours of clips I can create again. So my process would be to navigate back to the 15th and continue downloading clips for the remainder of the day.